There I was, sitting at the kitchen table after just putting the kids to bed. My stomach started growling as I realized I hadn't eaten anything since lunch at school that day. I was trying to figure out how to pay the electric bill, and I realized that it was after midnight. So I ultimately admitted defeat, decided that I was going to have to scrape together another late fee on the electric bill, and just went to bed that night. And I was 12 years old. So growing up, um, I, was the pop I was part of the population that we serve. Um, my family shopped at food pantries. Uh, we shopped with food stamps. We shopped at Goodwill. Um, I come from a low-income family, a single-parent household. Um, so this experience of being in poverty has, was really challenging for me as a child and ultimately was just a very cyclical experience. And I, even at 12 years old, I felt that I didn't have an out. Um, so I coped with a lot of this um, adversity with academics. Um, I put all of my time and energy into school. I spent countless hours in the library. Um, and my high school guidance counselor noticed that I was a phenomenal student. I had straight A's. I um, volunteered at um, like book fairs and was just very involved. And she encouraged me to pursue college. And being a first generation student, I had no idea what that meant. I had no idea um, where to start, what to do. And eventually I had realized that this was a way out for me. Um, this was a way for me to break this cycle of poverty, to pursue something greater than myself, and to be the first in my family to actually make something of myself that's of meaning. Um, so I applied to St. Norbert on a whim, didn't really know anything about the college, uh, couldn't tell you how I ended up here. Um, and um, I, um, so I had no idea what it meant to perform service or to have privilege until I came here. Um, I have had many opportunities to explore those gifts of empathy and solidarity that I believe that I have. The first being Dr. Cowell's academic service learning course um, with childhood adversity and resilience. So initially in the course, uh, I was struggling a lot with a lot of the course content, and a lot of it was very triggering for me, bringing up a lot of unpleasant memories from my childhood. And learning about all of the long-term consequences of childhood trauma just made my stomach knot. I was thinking about dropping the course when I had my first day volunteering at Howe Elementary School. I was able to connect with children who have experiences with poverty, who are sleeping in abandoned, street, abandoned cars in the streets, who are um, without a parent because one of their parents is incarcerated. And being able to ha form these connections with these youth was something that was really powerful for me and something that I felt almost was a calling for me to be in this position where I can serve and to have these experiences in common with the population that I was serving. Um, so I was playing basketball with one of the kids at Howe one day and realized that I had more in common with this little boy than I did with any of my peers here at St. Norbert. And that's when I realized how important service was to my education here and that it was just really important for me to use my story to give back to my community and to be in this position where I'm able to share my background that I come from with something that I find to be really important and really valuable, even though it can be hard at times. Um, so ultimately, this has decided this has led me to want to pursue a PhD at the University of Michigan in psychology and education, where I will dedicate the next five years of my life to helping um, address issues of social justice that are affecting underprivileged youth and perpetuating the cycle of poverty and keeping um, youth at the margins and so that are causing them to not be able to break the cycle and to filter into higher education. And yeah, so um, <laughs> that's, that's kind of my story. And I want to use um, my position here at St. Norbert as I'm graduating 
to um, encourage everyone to get involved in service and especially to advocate for youth who are underprivileged and otherwise don't have role models or resources to know what they could possibly become or turn into. So thank you.